a new covenant has been proclaimed on this day. It is this covenant poured out for many that would allow us to meet our Lord in heaven. Through this day we celebrate the death and resurrection of our Lord. However, this day comes with a price, a price in which our Lord suffers and dies for us, so that our sins are forgiven. Take this and eat it, all of you. This is my body. Take this and drink it. This is my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. This will be shed for you and for men for the forgiveness of sin. Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. He who dips his hand in the cup, when I dip mine, shall be the one. Go, do it quickly. My beloved brothers, I will not be with you much longer. My Lord, you know I'll follow you wherever you go. Peter, tonight before the rooster crows, you will deny that you know me three times. Never, my Lord, never. I will never deny you. Peter, all of you, I will be with you always. Anim Urtha, Hokutha, Ochai. Men Kasa Basri, Lakhtama Mot. Jesus, knowing he would be condemned, soon and understanding this was his last meal, wanted to make sure it was spent with his beloved apostles. He explained to them how he would soon have victory over the powers of darkness and triumph over evil. His victory ensured the victory of his followers, who would have great, successful ministries in the future, all coming out of Christ. Even after being exposed, Judas, though nervous, came to the Pharisees and received 30 silver coins for his cooperation in leading them to Jesus. The hour is at hand. My betrayer is present. Master. You betray your master with a kiss? Jesus was then taken to the Pharisees where he was questioned about his beliefs. After much scrutiny and testimony, he was believed to be blasphemed by the high priest. He was then taken to Pontius to be put to death. At the same time, Peter kept his closeness to Jesus through the whole ordeal. While sitting by the fire, keeping his watch, a lady approached Peter and asked him, You! You look familiar! Yes, yes, you too were with Jesus the Galilean. What? I do not know what you are talking about! Yes, you are right. He is one of those Jesus and Nazarene. I do not know him! Surely you too are one of them. Even your accent is the way. I tell you! I do not know him! made Peter truly realize his betrayal. He then ran away in shame, understanding what he had done. Jesus was then taken to Pontius, where the Pharisees asked to have Jesus crucified. Crucified! Jesus! I am innocent of this man's blood. His blood will be upon you and your children. Kill him! Kill him! If the people of Israel want this man to be crucified, well then, Crucify him. Yeah! Crucify him! Pontius Pilate then washed his hands, stating that Jesus' blood will not be upon him, but upon the people. 
After more cries come from the crowd to crucify him, Pontius regretfully makes the decision to crucify Jesus. The suffering, the agony that took place was done at a price to save us all.